Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some thirst, first, first thoughts, not thirst thoughts, <laughs> on Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. Um, I adored the first game, the first Puyo Puyo Tetris. If you have a look at my logs here, by longest total playtime, yeah, it's right up there with Odyssey and the game that requires you to play it constantly, essentially. Um, also Hades, Hades is good. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, I love Puyo Puyo Tetris the first, so here's a sequel that was released very recently. Let's have a look and see what we got. Uh, the original game, I think it came out in like 2014 or something. It predated the Switch and then got a Switch port once the Switch came out. Uh, this one just came out this year, so we'll see what's new. Um, I've heard that there's not a whole lot that's different. But that doesn't really bother me because I loved what was there so much. So just getting like another story mode, um, maybe a couple minor options would really help a lot in making the game more compelling to me. So let's have a look. Now loading. Okay, so we've got a very similar menu to the previous game. This is also very similar. <laughs> uh, let's dive into the adventure and have a look. Uh, boop. Set auto difficulty to on. This will automatically set the difficulty for adventure mode. You can change the setting from the options menu. Yeah, sure. Let's try it out. Huh? Where am I? And while we're at it, who am I? This feeling. It's growing inside me. A great and mysterious sense of duty. That's right. My name, it's... Maro. Yeah. It's all coming back to me. It's just like you said. My powers are meant to serve the world. <laughs> In that case, there's only one thing to do. We have to go to them. New BGM unlocked. Find it in the customize menu. Okay. Number one, a fateful reunion. Number one, a Puyo Tetris battle? Suzuran. Rule set. Versus. Condition. Beat T. Okay, so I guess I'm playing as Ringo again. Let's go. It's such a peaceful day. So peaceful. And quiet. It's so peaceful, I could just sing at the top of my lungs. Cute. Hmm. <laughs> actually, come to think of it, as great as peace is, it's actually kind of boring. <laughs> It'd be more fun if something crazy and over the top happened. Like, if all my friends just came bursting out of the sky. But that's nonsense. Something like that would never happen on such a peaceful day, right? Oh, it's about to happen, babe. I know how this works. <laughs> oh my! What's happening? I think someone's bursting out of the sky! <laughs> Couch! Where am I? Beep beep! Ah, well, can't say I expected something like this. <laughs> hey, Mr. Tight Clothes Skydiver? Are you okay? Beep beep! Oh, hey there, little yellow guy! Uh, yeah, I'm fine, thanks. <clears throat> Captain's report. We've been summoned here by the Keeper of Dimensions. X. We appear to have crash-landed done so right in front of a young girl with unusual hair. <laughs> Is he reporting to that yellow ball? Hey, you seem like you're doing all right. Oh, hang on. Haven't we met before? You know, I was actually thinking the same thing. T. Oh, glad to see you were able to land safely. You with the weird outfit. <laughs> it's just a 
about to remember something, but you crashed so hard you made me forget again. <laughs> That's definitely how it works. You yourself, now that I think about it. But enough distractions. I've got to figure out what's going on. Between this guy with the super tight clothes and this yellow fluff nugget. How the heck am I supposed to process what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's no time to explain. Ringo, T, I know this is sudden, but I need you two to battle. Okay, sure. It's just like that old saying goes. When things don't make sense, battle until they do. <laughs> That's gotta be why you want us to battle, right? Exactly. Ah, of course. Whenever a problem presents itself, the only solution is to battle. Pee -pee 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 -pee! <laughs> hey, you're pretty sharp. Well, you said it best yourself. Now, are you ready? Let's do this. Puyo Puyo time! Tetris time! It's, it's on! on. Huh? huh? He doesn't play Puyo Puyo? <laughs> she doesn't play Tetris? <laughs> oh no, we're starting! <laughs> Versus, pop away and attack with garbage puyos. A game of your opponent is a victory for you. So I'm playing Puyo Puyo? Okay. Maybe out of practice. I haven't actually played the first game in quite some time. Uh... Ringo's voice sounds a little different in this game. I wonder if it's the same actress. There we go. Sign! Sign. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. I'll do better next time. That was perfect. We're able to battle, but there's still so much I don't know. I should ask him. I don't know why they didn't voice these lines. This is the same as in the first game. They didn't voice the victory lines, even though the whole adventure mode is voiced. It's very weird. <laughs> we were still able to battle, even though he was using blocks instead of Puyo's. I wasn't half bad myself. What were those squishy blobs with faces? It appears that when four or more of the same color match up, they vanish. I couldn't have described Puyo's better myself. You really are sharp. <laughs> and you've got some serious skills. <laughs> Lining those shapes up and erasing them, you made it look like a piece of cake. I wonder if I can turn up the speed of the text, like it's much slower than the voices. But first things first, you with the curly hair. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I'm Captain T of the SS Tetra. I'm also the Tetris King. 
Well, my name's Ringo. I'm just a normal junior high student who's crazy about Puyo Puyo battles. Wait, Wait a second. second. I knew it. We, we have met, met before. Pee <gasps> pee baby. Excellent. You managed to restore a bit of your bond with each other. Oh, it's the confusing outfit guy. Yes, th that's me. Anyway, that'll be battling for now. Nowhere, but I need your help. Some kind of strange phenomenon is at work. It's trying to merge the worlds of Puyo Puyo and Tetris yet again. And they'd already been separated once before. Wait, wait, wait. Hold it right there. Separated once before? Does that mean this isn't the first time this has happened? That doesn't matter now. While the two worlds had previously merged, the circumstances this time are different. I'm sure they are. Someone is behind all this. I can sense it. If the worlds merge, we'll be consumed by unimaginable chaos. That sounds bad. And it seems someone is intent on unleashing such chaos. Uh. Oh. Oh. Sorry, this all just sounds like a huge deal. Honestly, it's kind of going over my head, but please, go on. Ringo, T, I need the two of you to work together. You need to discover what and who is causing all of this. Why don't you know what X's name is? We already, already mentioned it in this, in this game. You're what now? Jeez, I didn't mean to yell at him, but what the heck? So abrupt. <laughs> Hang on, Mr. Fancy Suspenders. <laughs> Are you going to help us or not? I like this game's writing a lot. I'm sorry, Ringo, but I have matters of my own to tend to. There's an important task I need to take care of. And with that, I must return to my post. I know we'll see each other again, but for now. X, wait! I must leave it in your hands. Find out who's behind all this. Pee pee. Huh? <laughs> 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 oh, I love this. You're handling this quite well. Yep, I stay calm during extreme situations. It's a strong suit of mine. Besides, I can already tell this is going to be one wild adventure. I can't take it. I'm so pumped. Let's do this! Even outrageously impossible requests like this get my blood going. It's curious, I must say. I can't tell my left from my right in this strange place, and I've been given an unreasonable task. Yet here I stand, undaunted. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna back out and see if I can speed up the text a bit. Uh, let's see, options. Mm, probably not, judging from what I'm seeing here. Hmm. I like Tricus and Taurus. <laughs> there she is. Okay, um... 
I'd probably just get it to skip ahead by pressing A at the appropriate times. So let's just do that. Okay, so that was stage one. Uh, now we have stage one, two. I'm here. Yeah, you are. Okay, so we've been asked. All we have to do is find someone without any clue what they look like or where they are. Where do we even start? Hmm. Now that you mention it, what we've been entrusted with is on a much grander scale than we are. Then maybe undaunted isn't the right mindset. Might want to be a little daunted. <laughs> then first things first, we must find others who are willing to help us. Good thinking. Let's do that. Hee 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 hee. Got anyone in mind, T? In fact, I do. I've been sending out transmissions via O. Unfortunately, communications seem to be taking a while. Oh no. Hey. So this little yellow ball, I mean, O, has the ability to send out transmissions? That's right. O is my trusty sidekick. Peep, peep. You'll get a proper introduction later. Okay, then let's get my friends to help us out. We'll drag them along on this sketchy quest for who knows what. Interesting choice of words. Come on, let's go find them. Huh? Ringo? What brings you here? Looks like you brought some friends. A guy with one heck of an outfit and a little yellow... Some... Oh, hey, I was just looking for you. Guys, this is Maguro. He's a fellow classmate and my childhood friend. Hey, everyone. I'm Maguro. Ringo, you're still a child. So he's an acquaintance <laughs> of yours, Ringo? Then we should ask him to help us. Though, I'm not sure how to explain our rather complex situation to him. Hey, Maguro, let's have a Puyo battle. Right here, right now. And put your heart into it. Uh, what? Yeah, you've got to speak the right language to get through to him. The language of Puyo battles. Y I, I don't think it works that way. Sure, let's do it. All right, straight to the point. <laughs> Ready? It's Puyo time! I, I love how everyone in this universe solves all of their problems by just doing, like, grid falling block puzzles. It's it's so great. It's, it's very, it's very, um, Toho, very Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged. It makes me very happy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sign. <laughs> Solved it. How'd that happen? That was perfect. Nice, Magro. You don't need words to get what's going on. I think I get it now. So some mysterious guy shows up out of the blue and tells you that the world's in serious trouble and now you, T, and his little yellow companion, O, are on a mission. A mission to find out who's behind all the bizarre stuff going on. But you don't have a single clue to guide you. Sound about right? Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong? The way you communicate, it's on another level. <laughs> Listening to you go over our this is so is silly. My head spin. <laughs> oh, I love so it. Undaunted, huh? At any rate, count me in to help you out. Booyah! Makro joined Ringo and T's party. I what? <laughs> Let's keep it up. <laughs> what, what a nerd. Roger that. Wait a minute. What's our next destination? Pee! <laughs> Oh, I'm just really enjoying this. I'm having lots of fun. A 
battle in the name of love? You're facing me. Oh, I'm playing as T this time. Oh look, there's Reese. See that upperclassman standing over there? That's the one, the only Reese Akuma. Uh, Ringo, Maguro, Risu Kuma, was it? Can you just say words? Pee, 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 pee. Probably. I see. Well then, what in the world is he? <laughs> I've never been able to figure that out, and you probably won't either. But what kind of logic is that? Well, I suppose it doesn't matter what he is, as long as we can trust him. Of course we can! Reese is the best! He acts just as flashy as he looks, let me tell ya. But above all else, he's passionate about truth, science, and the pursuit of love. I just wanted to know whether or not we can trust him. Hmm. At last, my grand experiment is in its final phase. My life's work has all led up to this moment. This experiment, I cannot let it fail. It will not fail. He's conducting an experiment? I certainly hope a random stranger doesn't try to talk to me. That would surely shatter my <laughs> concentration. And then who knows what might blow up. That doesn't sound even a little bit safe. Well, go talk to him, T. No way! Didn't you hear a word he said? Pee, pee! It's fine, trust me. Reese is all about reverse psychology. But... Pee, pee, pee! No buts. Go on. Um... <laughs> excuse me? Huh? A random stranger is trying to talk to me. My concentration. I'm tremendously disturbed now. Why are you narrating everything? Oh no. <laughs> I love this. I don't know who story. you are or where you're from. <laughs> it's so silly. I expect you'll be taking full responsibility for blowing up my experiment. Now, prepare yourself. For what? Break a leg, T. This is the perfect chance for you to try your hand at Puyo Puyo. <laughs> Are we having a Puyo Puyo battle? Oh, okay. I, I thought I'd have a Tetris battle, because I haven't had one yet. And, you know, I'm playing as T. Quite a busy backdrop there. Um. Uh, does this mean he's gonna listen to me now? Let's continue. Interesting. You seem to know a thing or two about love yourself. Um, thanks. 
Ringo, don't just stand there. Introduce me to this love prodigy already. This is Chief. He's joining me on my quest to who the heck knows. Well, well. And that yellow guy over there is O. Very good, very good. I believe I've heard all I need. I'd be more than happy to help you out. You rock! Thanks, Reese. Hey, Maguro. What's up? On a scale of 1 to 10, how strange is all this in your world? Way beyond 10, that's for sure. Hmm. Pee pee. All right, I'll ask again, just for the record. Maguro, Reese, have either of you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Or maybe someone suspicious? Well, I don't know if suspicious is the right word, but I saw this girl wearing a big red hat. I think she was over in the shopping district. I happened to see something in the shopping district myself. If I'm not mistaken, it was a young lady in blue armor accompanied by a yellow creature. She didn't look particularly threatening, though. What? Do they sound familiar, Ringo? Maybe. If you're talking about who I think you're talking about, then we have nothing to worry about. Though I am curious why they're here. Then let's go find them. Peep, peep. Yeah. You go on ahead. I've got some experiments to run. The world is behaving in peculiar ways, and I intend to find out why. If that's the case, then I'll stay and help too. I'll see you later, Ringo. Got it. Thanks. Okay, no time to waste. To the shopping district. Oh, Tetris time. The mystery girl appears. Beat Ringo. Oh, and I'm playing as playing as T? Okay, let's go. You're facing me. It's the shopping district. We're here. There are so many different pieces on exhibit. What a lively place. <laughs> Those exhibits are actually goods that the shops are selling. Is this your first time shopping, T? Yeah. We spend most of our days on board the starship. We rarely ever go out. Pee -pee 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 -pee. Oh man, a starship? That sounds so awesome. Man, you're so lucky. I wish I could ride around in a starship. Maybe when we have some spare time. Right now we have a mission to focus on. But once that's over... You mean it? Aw, oh, yeah, that's all the motivation I need. <laughs> time to find our queen. <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky and find them around here somewhere. I imagine they'd be wandering. Oh, I love around, this. Mumbling about worlds merging. You know, some total weirdo who's gone completely bonkers. <laughs> yeah, sure. As if something so astronomically improbable could ever merge of the worlds. Fun. <laughs> I don't know who this character is. They weren't in the first game. Our culprit? Pee pee pee! Excuse me, miss. I've got kind of a weird question for you. You wouldn't happen to be in the world merging business, would you? Hmm. Whoa. The surrounding air is thick with energy. Yeah. I can feel it in my bones. She has to be the one we're looking for. It's too early. Hey, she's getting away! Hold it right there! There are a bunch of Puyos and Tetraminos up ahead. It seems we must clear them out in order to pass through. <sighs> Doesn't look like we have a choice. Let's do this, Ringo. Yeah, let's go. Puyo, Puyo Tetris, Tetris battle. battle. I'm not sure why we're fighting, given we're supposed to be working together to clear these things, but, you know, whatever. Tetris time. I haven't played Tetris in a while either. Solved it. 
to get back into the groove. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There's me in the background. <laughs> there I am again. Captain's report. It has successfully cleared all impeding Puyos and Tetraminos. Yeah, that should be the last of them. Yeah, but we lost her trail. At least we were able to get a good look at her. That counts as a win. She certainly was quick. Pee 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 pee. Yeah, you're right, O. X likely sensed a suspicious presence. That's why he sent us here. If that's the case, then let's get moving. We've got a job to get done. Right. Pee pee. Pee 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 pee. New stage unlocked. Find it in the customize menu. Oh, it's Amity! Oh, adorable. What shortcut do? Oh, I see. Instead of going through the map normally, you can just jump ahead to wherever you want to... wherever you want. Okay. That makes sense, because navigating this map is kind of slow. Uh, let's just jump out and have a quick look at the other modes in the game. Uh, let's see. Versus, you know, skill battle. Party Fusion Big Bang Challenge. I think Skill Battle is new. Um. I guess we'll do that and see what happens. I don't really know how this mode works. Well, we're doing a, a battle, um... Seem to be doing lots of damage without really doing too much. I think I'm supposed to be pressing X and Y and ZR to do those extra moves, but I don't know what they do. <laughs> um. Right on, I won! No matter how much I battled, I can't afford to lose a single one. Okay, um... I think I get it? Edit your team and challenge yourself in a skill battle. Keep going as long as you have HP remaining. Yeah, that this... Yeah, okay, I, I think I get it. Challenge, Endless Fever, Endless Puyo, Tiny Puyo. These are the same as before, those aren't new. <sighs> Multiplayer modes look pretty much the same as before. Yep. You can buy the same sort of stuff in the shop as before. Doesn't change. Alternate voices. Player icons. Those are new. I don't really know who these characters are, but I guess you can have them as your icon if you want. It, it, I don't know any of these people. <laughs> uh. Um, I'm just going back into adventure and just continue for a little bit longer because I'm having fun with the story. Okay, I have to beat Amity. Am I Tetrising again? Yeah, it's a Tetris battle. Okay. Purple instead of green, right? Yeah, that's the difference. You're facing me. Oh, oh, Tyler and I were just having a Puyo battle. 
Why did it work again? <laughs> Where am I? Carl? Carbuncle? Where are you guys? <laughs> oh well. Everything will keep itself out. <laughs> I mean, just look at this place. <laughs> this is my chance to take in the sights and do my own thing. <sighs> that girl over there is radiating an obscene amount of positivity. It's kind of burning my eyes. <laughs> I love this writing. <laughs> That's right, it's me, Ringo. I had a feeling it was you. Not sure what you're doing out here, though. Don't they just live in the same town? A red Puyo hat could only be. Yep, me, Amity, and I'm gonna be a great magician one day. Oh, there it is, your signature catchphrase. I'm really glad you're here, Ringo. There's so much I have to tell you! Um, who's that next to you? Oh, right. Let me introduce you. This is T. And he promised to let me ride in his starship one day. Didn't you, T? Uh, Ringo? Let's stick to basic introductions for now, shall we? <laughs> That's the most important this thing to tell well. people. And believe me, he does a lot more than just being a cute little ball. Hey, PPVP! Nice to meet you, TNO! Well, these introductions were less than stellar. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is T. I'm the captain of the SS Tetra, and I commit myself daily to Tetris battles in order to... Tetris? Why does that sound so familiar? Hmm, perhaps it'll be quicker to simply show you. This is how it's done. Whoa! Say what now? A Puyo battle? It's actually a little different, Amity, but don't worry. We're still able to battle. Anyway, let's do this. Let's battle! <laughs> okay, so I'm Tetris and she's playing Puyo Puyo. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Huh, they changed it so that um you can't press ZL to hold. Hopefully I can change that in the settings, because um, I don't like require using um, L or R instead of ZL or ZR. Um... In fact, that's one of the main things I didn't like about Tetris 99, that it didn't support those controls that the first PvP of Tetris did. Also, you didn't get to play any Puyo Puyo. That was a problem with it as well. <laughs> uh... That's what Tetris is all about. You got that, uh, Amity? Well, that was something else, but I had fun. I can't really explain it, but I think I understand you now, T. Oddly enough, I feel the same way. Peep, 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 peep? It's almost as if this isn't the first time we've met. Peep, 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 peep. Oh, right. Ringo, I'm looking for someone. Yeah? Well, call me crazy, but I think we're looking for the same person. We are? So, let's keep on searching. Okay, but make sure to keep your ears open and listen real hard for a goo goo. Goo goo goo? <laughs> okay, I, th I think Amity is looking for Carbuncle. <laughs> Oh my goodness. A tale of two cuties. P, 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 P. Hmm, I don't hear anything. No goo goo on my end either. Ringo, Amity, why do you keep saying goo goo? Should I be worried? Uh, how do I put it so you'll understand? Uh, okay, let's say I was looking for you. Then I'd keep an ear out for a pee pee sound. Make sense? I see. I think I get it. After all, O and I are comrades for life and totally inseparable. Cute. So I suppose if one were to hear a PPE, then hey, where's O? What do you mean? I thought you two were totally inseparable. It's fine. No reason for <laughs> alarm. If I know O, he probably went this way. P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P
Oh, I'm Tetris singing again. Okay. I guess that makes sense based on the character, but I wasn't expecting it. Yeah, I definitely need to remap the hold button. Uh, I'll check that after this, this level. Uh, hopefully it has the option to remap it. If it doesn't, I shall be disappointed. been defeated yet. Oh my god. Come on, Al. There we go. Continue. What? Goo-goo? What were those? You weren't Puyo Puyos. What were you using? Beep beep. Oh, it was a PP battle. Okay, I understand now. Okay, I'm gonna go check if I can change those controls. Uh, options. Um. It doesn't look like you can just remap ZL for some reason. One hand is probably the closest to what I want. You gotta rotate with the shoulder buttons though. Hmm. Okay, that's a little disappointing that ZL can't be mapped to anything. I guess because of this new skill mode, they needed to put those buttons somewhere, but it's not very flexible. Um... Uh, I guess I can try to get used to it, but... Eh. It's very strange that they didn't keep that option, because the previous game had it. Reliable Adventurer. Beat Ringo. I'm playing as... Al? Okay. Oh, there you are. Pee-hee! pee 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 Hey! Is that... That's Arl standing beside O. And she looks frazzled. Amity! Ringo! Get this! So during our battle earlier, the square showed up and... Goo! 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 He's looking pretty riled up, but don't worry. I understand what you've been through. Those squares you saw doing stuff? That was Tetris! 
strings. And the things that drop down are called tetraminos. I don't really get it. But you could have a Puyo Puyo battle with them. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Quest to save the world, but there's someone we need to find first. So you're Aro. You're a friend of Ringo's, correct? We need your help. What do you say? Time out! W what is my brain still unscrambling from the whole warping situation? And now Tetris? Starship? Save the world? You're right. I totally get that you don't get it. As long as you get that I get that you don't get it. Not helping. Goo goo. Goo 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 goo. Well, there is a surefire way to calm your nerves. Yeah. Yeah. You thinking what I'm thinking? You know it. Only if you let me take you on, that is. Cute. <laughs> You're on. Let's do this, Ringo. Here we go. Puyo Puyo battle. Goo 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 goo. Goo 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 goo. Okay, you can't hold things in a Puyo Puyo battle anyway, so uh, the fact that the hold settings were changed isn't going to come up just yet. I'm playing badly. <laughs> Oh my goodness. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, just one star? Hey, I think I get it now. How about you, Carby? Nothing like a good old fashioned battle. You feeling all right now, Arl? Yep, I feel great. Good. Glad to hear it. Now what were we talking about? Oh, right. What the heck's going on? Goo goo goo! It might take a while to explain everything. So let's walk and talk. The way I see it, this doesn't seem like any old coincidence to me. There's gotta be a reason you and Amity were warped here. Huh. Sounds like we're going on another adventure. Guess we gotta team up and watch each other's backs, don't we? Exactly. You catch on quick. Of course I do. I am an adventuring pro after all. Well, I hope you're a listening pro because this is where things get complicated. Oh, skill battle. Uh oh. What did I do wrong with this one? I guess I didn't get a high enough score. Yeah, I need 4,000 plus points. Let's give it another try.
Uh, still not high enough score. Uh, I think I get two stars though. Nope, still one. Hmm. I'm not sure what the amount we need is. Retry? Oh, 3,500. Okay, um, well, I'll just leave that for now. Uh, I'll come back to it later, but let's take on the skill battle and then I'm gonna wrap up, I think. Level stuff, Carby. Good. Even I didn't fully get it until now. So that's what's going on. And I'm gonna give it my all. That's reassuring to hear. Thank you. Reese and Marlboro should be around here somewhere. They were checking the area for abnormalities. Hey! Hey, Marlboro! Stupendous timing, Ringo. Hi, Reese. Find out anything about all the weirdness going on? Yes, regarding that, my experiments yielded some... tremendously unprecedented results. Unprecedented how? Please, turn around. Uh, slowly. Uh... <laughs> Need... more. Ah! Something's there. After you all left, I took it upon myself to investigate the anomaly. My goal was to track it down and pinpoint its location. I had to invent an entirely new device to accomplish this heroic deed. And it appears the anomaly was hiding in plain sight with you this whole time. Much like the invisible yet undeniable nature of love, I suppose. You make it sound like everything is all fine and dandy, but it's not. It's super creepy. Hey there. I'm Magura. What's your name? Me? I'm Marl. Marl, huh? You're the one who's been watching us, right? Mind telling us why? Why? Well, let's see. I wanted to give you all the chance to meet each other. Then everyone can battle to their heart's content. Doesn't that sound... <laughs> fun? That's it? Mm-hmm. All I want is to spread fun to everyone. Everywhere. All the time. I just needed to whisk the worlds together to make it happen. Well, unwhisk them! This isn't some cosmic cooking show. But aren't you having fun? This is fun, isn't it? You're all going to have lots and lots of battles together. And it's going to be so much fun. Huh? Ringo, watch out! Here she comes! Whoa! Hey, what the heck? We've got your back, Ringo! Yeah! We're here to help you. Appreciate it. Now let's do this. Okay. Um. I guess we're playing a skill battle this time. It's got a whole bunch of different stats and stuff. Uh, I'll go with the default. Use skills to clear as much as you can. Your power increases by as much as you clear. Reduce your opponent's HP to zero and victory is yours. Okay. I don't really know what the skills do. It'd be nice to have like a little bit of info about what they're supposed to do. So is Mal from the other universe? Is that why she's playing Tetris? Or is that just a coincidence? I'll you. I don't know what that did. Oh, um, I get what you're all about now, and I've got a hunch there's going to be something wild. I, I leveled up? Okay. I don't really understand what that does, but okay. <laughs> Continue? I guess that'll do. For now. Hmm. We'll play again some other time. I can't wait. We won! I couldn't have done it without all of you, but she got away. There was nothing we could do about that. Though she did say she wanted to play again, she likely hasn't disappeared on us for good. Yet. 
We mustn't slow down. Let's follow her trail. Peep, 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 peep. You know. What's up, Amity? That Marl girl gave me the chills. How so? I mean, don't get me wrong. Battles are fun, and fun is good. But why did it sound like the creepiest thing in the world when she said it? Yeah, you're right. She's the reason both our worlds merge together. If she can do that, she must have some serious power on her side. She's probably keeping her real motives a secret. Who knows what they could be? But we should probably assume she's planning something super dangerous. Goo goo goo. Hmm. Hmm. Pee pee? Ha ha! There you are! T! Huh? S? T! You little. What were you thinking, huh? Why would you leave me behind? It. Is that T's friend? This is all weirdly familiar. You're not getting off that easily. You're just a dumb king on a dumb flying tin can with a really, really <laughs> dumb haircut. <laughs> uh, well, that's one way to greet a friend. Uh, okay. Well, um, first and foremost, I'm glad to see you again too, S. Beep, 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 beep. Let's take some time and sort everything out, shall we? Well, chapter 2 starts. The adorably irritable first mate. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just gonna wrap up the video at this point, I think. So yeah, this is Pio Pio Tetris 2. Um, apart from skill battles, it's very similar to the first game. I'm not super bothered by that, because I loved the first game, and I, I think getting more of it, getting another story mode, essentially, is really exciting. Um... Because, you know, I love, love, loved the writing in this game, in the in the first game, and there's more of it here, and it's it's just really good. And it's just, it just makes me happy, and I like it. I mean, look at all those cuties. Oh, I'm so excited to play more of that. Um, I do wish there were an option to make the text faster. Um, after the first couple cutscenes, I was just pressing A to jump ahead as the text typed out to try to sync it up better with the voice. Um, like, an option to just make the text appear immediately and then have the auto, like, apply to the voice and not wait for the text at all would be good, but that doesn't seem to be an option. Um, or if that's just how it worked, because, you know, if you put auto mode on, you probably want to just watch it like like a like a, a cutscene, basically. You want it to play out by itself. You don't want to have to tap A to get it to play at the right speed. Um, so that seems like a weird oversight. Um, I also, as I mentioned earlier, like in the controls here, th there should be something that lets you use the Z buttons as hold, because the first game did that, and taking that option away in the sequel is just very weird. Um, otherwise the controls are fine, but a oh, Y button is hold. Huh. Interesting. Okay, I, I probably just need to practice a bit with the expert controls and get better at them, but... I'm used to ZL being the hold button, and it's it's not in this game, and that's really weird to me that it's not even not an option anymore. Um, I think perhaps there should be a bit more of a focus on the new skill battle thing in the adventure mode because it looks like you gain experience as you progress and like level up and stuff. So it'd make sense to integrate that with the story mode a bit more instead of it just being sometimes you do a skill battle. Like one once in in a once in a chapter. I don't know. Maybe there'll be more later on, but it seems a bit weird. Um, I also think they could have explained skill battles better. Uh, like I said, I didn't know what any of the skills did. Chances are the lessons in here tell you about it. Uh, if they quick peek. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all of this. Let's have a quick look. HP, yep, I know.
Okay, skills. Color change. Oh, I see. The bottom two rows clear after became red Puyos. Oh, I see. Okay. HP recovery. Right. Okay, um, I kind of get it. <laughs> yeah, I, I think if they were going to have a system where you have HP and levels and experience and all that sort of stuff, it would make sense to tie that into the entire adventure mode instead of just the boss battle, essentially. Um, like, if they, if they could have made it so that skill battle... Um, I don't know if this is a good comparison or not, but... Uh, in Smash Ultimate, uh, you have the spirit teams thing, which I feel like seems similar to this. Um, and the spirit teams can be applied to, like, any Smash battle. You can just turn them on and say everyone gets to pick their spirit team. And it looks like this is similar to that, and it would make sense if you could apply that to, like, um, any, any kind of battle instead of it being a separate mode. So you could have, you know, your, um, skill team activated in a swap game or a fusion game or whatever as well as in, this is essentially versus, but with skill battle stuff enabled. Um, yeah, so those are my shortcomings of the game. I think I'm going to super love it just because of the writing, um, and because, you know, I just really enjoyed Puyo Puyo and Tetris. Um, but, like, the big draw of this second game for me is having another adventure mode with all the story again, and the really really silly writing, which I really enjoy. Um, so I'm looking forward to more of that. Um, but yeah, uh, that's Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. A game I had a couple of shortcomings about, but I'm really going to enjoy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. That's it for this video. Bye!